Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a 10 minute see-through vinyl zipper pouch, just like this. Super easy. This is actually the one I keep in my purse. <laughs> you know, you got to have your deck of cards. You got to have your moisturizer and your tape measure and your uh, super awesome pocket knife. You know, got to have things handy. Candy. Anyways, it's, it's small. It's the perfect size to stash anywhere. I have a couple in my medicine cabinet to keep like Q-tips or cotton balls and stuff clean and organized. And it doesn't take long. So let's get to it. And rock this out, rock this out, rock, rock this out, mm. rock it out, mm, mm, mm. rock it out, mm. all right. Oh my, I got hair intervention, oh my lord. Alright, so we're going to cut our vinyl to size. Here are our zipper tabs for the ends of the zipper. I've got a super long zipper here that I'm going to trim to size. That's how I usually buy my zipper tape. And for the vinyl, oops, <laughs> I'm going to cut it down to size. So I'm cutting mine eight and a half inches wide, five inches tall, and you want two pieces to be exactly the same. For the zipper tabs, you want to fold them and press. So I brought two short ends into the center and pressed, and now I'm going to fold it over again and press. So there's one open edge. So in other words, you're folding in half to find the center crease, then bring the short edges in to touch that center crease, press again, Fold one more time, press again. Then you're going to slide your zipper in there and sew across it. This ensures a really nice, clean, professional looking zipper top at the top of your pouch. Slide one short end of the zipper in to touch the fold. Use a clip to hold this piece in place and then we're going to sew across the end. One, and put on the other side. And trim those. Now you're going to lay your zipper right side facing the right side of the vinyl. So the zipper, you'll be looking at the wrong side of it or the back side of it. Center it and then sew across the top edge there. Oops, oops, wrong camera. So I'm coming up and then it wants to kind of bend because my zipper is in the way. So I lift my foot and pull that zipper out of the way put my foot back down and resume sewing. And then it's not a problem. What would be even better is if I had put on my zipper foot, that would make it even easier to sew. But I wanna show this way in case you don't have a zipper foot. Okay, so one side is on. I'm just gonna finger press that down and then top stitch so that that seam lays really nicely. side. So now we lay the other piece of vinyl right side facing us and lay the zipper again so the wrong side is facing us. So right sides together in other words. Center it, make sure the sides are even and then we're going to sew across the top again exactly the same way that we just did. Finger press that seam open nice and flat. Finger press is fine. You don't don't use an iron on vinyl. 
You definitely would need to use a pressing cloth if you want to use an iron, but honestly you don't need it. And now it's time to put the case together. Align all side edges so they're even, and we're going to sew right by those zipper tabs, not over them. All right, let's sew this bad boy. I'm using a quarter inch seam allowance and a poly blend thread so that it's nice and strong. A cotton thread would easily break. Now I'm gonna sew up the sides. Now, if your foot is having trouble here, it's just because it's not even. So you may need to lift or use a jeans majig if you need to, but most machines can handle it. All right, now the other side, final seam. All right, come in and trim all your threads. If you took a larger seam allowance, just trim your seam allowance a little bit. I usually do just to make it sit nicer. Uh, trim the corners a bit. That prevents a bulky corner. And just make everything sharp and looking good. There you go. See, there's a whole bunch of threads usually to do. Now, if you want to use a hair dryer and warm up your vinyl for about 10 seconds before turning it out, it will help turning it out. It makes it a little more pliable. I usually don't, just because I don't have a hair dryer handy, um, but it does help. Just an added tip there. Really spend some time and some energy pushing those corners and zipper tabs at the top out. It does take a bit of pressing. And there it is. Can you believe it? So fast, so quick. Perfect. So cool, right? I hope you had fun. So there's our little zippy case, 10 minute zippy case. So easy, so much fun. If you're having any trouble sewing your vinyl, it's worth getting a Teflon foot for your sewing machine. <laughs> Always recommend going through your dealer. Um, all right, thanks for being here. Thanks for hitting like and subscribing and I will see you soon.